Hey everybody, it's almost lunchtime on Monday and I have been so busy. I haven't even had time to make my first video. What have we been doing? We've been unboxing kitchen cabinets. So I wish I could just say the kitchen's done. That's not the case. We have just um, sorted and opened all of the base cabinets for the kitchen. The only one that's missing is the sink. It's it's over here. We can't obviously put it in place until we cut some holes for the plumbing. Um, but you can kind of get a feel for how the kitchen's gonna go. Um, we'll have a range here. Got lots of drawers. Um, I only did one set of these in my kitchen and I love them. If I had known how useful they were really gonna be, would have done a lot more drawers. Um, I've got a little lazy Susan here, and then of course our sink will be here. Um, this pantry cabinet's gonna slide over because the fridge has gotta go here. So we've got everything in place. We're gonna get all the specs for our appliances, and we think we are gonna start with the range, and we're gonna work our way that way and that way. Make sure we have plenty of room for our range. Um, do you remember me talking about these little short cabinets that we're going to dip down below the window? Um, those worked out great. No problem there. Um, I love them. I think it looks really good. So our next step is to um, get everything, get all the measurements so we know where everything's going to fall. And we have not done our floors yet. Um, and that was, that was by choice um, because we're using that reclaimed... Um, slate that has a little variation in it. So we're going to tile after we set the cabinets. But if we did that, we would lose height because we're going to come up half an inch for our tile plus our um, backer board or our duroc. So what we're going to do is actually come with a one by all the way around the base of the cabinets and lift them up just a little bit. So I'll show you how that's going to go. So we have turned all the cabinets on their side and we have these um, pieces of one by that we have cut down and we are adding them to the bottom of all the cabinets and that's going to raise them up an inch which will even out the right height when we add our floor all right so the next step is to start screwing elements together so on each side of the oven, we're gonna have these pilasters. They're finished on all, well, they're finished on three sides. Um, we have attached that to this cabinet. We've done the same here. And then we have like a little cookie sheet cabinet over there. Um, and that we're attaching to this end. So get them all attached to each other and level with each other. And then we level them together. All right, so here's where we are at. We have three cabinets or three components linked together. And over here we have four components linked together. Um, we have a couple of different problems and it all stems from the fact that that wall is straight up crooked. It's crooked this way and it's leaning out. So um, if you can see this at the bottom, we are completely flush in that corner right here. And we've got about an inch and a half right there. Um, normally that's not a problem because you just run your countertop all the way back to the wall and it covers up those mistakes or gaps. But, you know, we have these cabinets that drop down. So you will see those pilasters. So we're gonna have to put our thinking caps on to figure out how we're gonna make that look good. We have literally turned a corner and now we're going to put another component into this um, set of four. All right, we have all of these connected. That is all but one of the base cabinets and that's the sink cabinet that's going to go here. We've got to figure out exactly where it goes and then cut holes for the plumbing to come up through. So we don't want to put that one attached yet until we know how all of this is going to work out. Um, on the other side, we're going to have to make a little L shape here and then we'll have the fridge and then this piece will slide over some. 
Um, but we're going to wait and do this in the morning because we want to get the wall cabinet out too because this has all got to work together. Um, there is no wall cabinets on this wall. And these are kind of independent of this. But with a wall cabinet and then a refrigerator panel and then another cabinet and then this cabinet over here, like I said, all that has to work together. So that's for tomorrow. It's a new day and we have the same project. Um, we have lots and lots and lots of shims and we are ready to start screwing to the wall. So we're gonna do that. Um, this is the cabinet that goes over the refrigerator and this one goes in that corner over there. So we're having to use these to help figure out the placement of this. But for now, we're gonna work on getting this whole corner in place. Right, it is a new day and all of our base cabinets, less the sink cabinet, are down. Um, and we are putting our attention over here to the wall cabinets. Um, we got our pantry cabinet in, our fridge cabinet. We got a little bit of a challenge back here, so we're kind of tabling that for now. And we're working over here. So you saw us hanging a wall cabinet here. We're just putting it up there to get some measurements. Um, this wall, leans towards the river and just to show you how much this is the filler piece that's going to go there we haven't cut it yet but you see how big it is at this end and it's going down to nothing so we're going to cut that but that's how much filler we have to have to make that fit in that corner so we have cut that filler and you see it's like maybe three quarters of an inch by three inches so that little filler piece is going to go right here on the edge of this cabinet, which is going to um, get it flush with that super crooked wall. All right, the cabinet is up and you can see we've got down at this end, um, just a little bit of filler, a full three inches at the top, but it's flush with the wall on that side and it is plumb on this side. That just shows you just how much variation we have in that wall. So now we're level and we're plumb and we'll keep working this way. Um, we haven't done this one yet. So I told you we had a predicament there. Um, there's supposed to be just a standard 12 inch cabinet that goes back there. Um, but the way that it's in this corner right here, let's see if I can get over there without knocking something over. Um, it's going to be really tricky to reach all the way back there to get a glass. So we came up with a couple of different options. Um, but what we've decided to do is we're going to use that cabinet because we need the storage space. Everybody wants more cabinetry. Um, but we are going to bring it out some. So we're not going to set it back that full um, 12 inches that you would normally have. We're going to bring it out a little bit. So maybe recess it back about six inches. Still be easy to access. Um, Nobody's really ever going to know that it's not a full depth until you open it. So um, it'll make it more accessible. Um, we have another challenge here. <laughs> Lots of challenges. Um, so we have these pilasters. I'm going to get back over here. I think you can see better. Um, we have these pilasters here that um, are e on either side of our range. And they're supposed to go all the way to the wall back there. Well, they do go all the way to the wall on the ground. In fact, we even cut some of the sheetrock out so we could slide them back further. And you see just how far off the back is from the wall at the top. Again, it's because that wall is leaning toward the river. Um, so we're not quite sure what we're gonna do there. So that's our new challenge to figure out. Um, so you're gonna have to stay tuned on that one. I've got some ideas, but I don't know what's the best option. So we gotta figure that out. All right, folks, here's where we are. We have all of our wall cabinets on this side done. Um, one of the um, locks on the bottom of this drawer was broken. So um, my cabinet guy is getting us a replacement on that one. The drawer is fine. It's just the thing that locks it into the slide. Um, next, we are working on this cabinet right here, which is the sink base cabinet. 
We have drilled all of these holes for our plumbing and our electrical, and that is going in next. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? I love how we have that depth. Um, you can really see that crookedness. Crookedness, is that a word? Um, over here, but um, the cabinets are straight. So um, we're gonna finish that, and then we start all the details. So we've gotta do um, our crown detail across the top. We've got a light rail across the bottom that covers up um, the under cabinet lighting. Eventually we'll do a toe kick and then shoe mold. But that'll come after we tile. We are still plugging away. Um, so we got that sink cabinet set and now we're working on the dishwasher area. So we have um, just a panel at the end. Um, and then eventually we're going to do like a skin all the way back here and then we'll just have false doors um, and then we'll have an overhang so you can have bar stools on this side. And just like that, the doors are on the back of the peninsula and the side. We are moving along step by step. Some of this is really tedious work and these guys do a fantastic job of figuring out exactly how to make it work. The cabinet is in. We ended up using a little bit of filler here, which is gonna let that door swing open a little more so you can access it easier. And we didn't push it all the way to the wall. We pulled it forward some. Um, so now we've gotta put this filler. We've gotta cut our triangular shaped filler there. And then all the cabinets will be hung in the kitchen. All right, folks, all of the cabinets are hung. Um, we've got a few tweaks here to do, and of course we've still got a lot of trimming out to do, but um, we got this cabinet hung, we got our little triangular board in there, but the kitchen is coming together, and we are ready to move on to another project. So I told you what we were going to do next, and I lied to you. Um, we decided that since we'd done the kitchen, there are two other places in the house that I need to have custom countertops cut. And if we go ahead and do those two quick projects, then we can get on the schedule to get countertops made. So we are in the main bedroom. This is going in the main bedroom bathroom. That's the vanity. So we're gonna put that in place and then we're gonna turn our attention downstairs to the laundry room. So this bathroom just got a little bit smaller. Um, but it works. It's centered on the wall. It's centered in the door. It looks great. Um, this cabinet's giving you a little more privacy back here. Um, it's a bathroom. It's got a big shower. It's got a toilet. It's got a vanity. It's got what it needs, folks. Well, we have found our first major challenge when it comes to the cabinets. We have this utility closet, and it's supposed to slide right in here. Um, we knew it wasn't going to go all the way to the wall, so we were going to go back toward the wall, and then we we're going to put a panel to cover up the empty space. But it's not even close. It's blocking the door. So what do we do? We talked about taking some off the bottom to make it a little shorter, but that's not going to work because we've still got to do Duroc and tile in here. Um, so what we're going to do is just cut the back of this at the same angle as the ceiling and hope that works. We're cutting it up because as it is right now, we can't use it at all. So we're just going to try to cut it up and save it. Look at that, folks. That's so much better than what we originally had planned. Now we can even open the bathroom door. <laughs> All right, everyone. The sun is setting on a Friday afternoon. We are wrapping up for the week. I could not be happier with what all we got accomplished. Um, the fact that all of our kitchen cabinets are set and the only thing we have left to do is trim them out. Um, you saw that we got the vanity set in the main bedroom. Before we leave, I'm going to show you this last little bit of progress we made in the laundry room. Um, and I just called for an appointment to get templated for countertops, which is huge. We are less than a week from when these cabinets were delivered and we are ready for countertops.
Right, so this cabinet is not what we had planned. We knew it was not gonna go all the way to this back wall. It was supposed to sit off of the wall a little bit, and then we were gonna fill it in with a veneer. Um, that didn't work. <laughs> it was obviously not quite ordered correctly, um, but what we have is so much better than what our original plan was. You don't lose wasted floor space that was gonna be hidden behind that cabinet. So, who knows what we'll be doing next week. We know we'll be finishing up some cabinets. So make sure you come back and see what's happening at the Hyatt house.